so you've decided to enter the three-minute thesis in 2020. We want to make sure you have the best chance of winning the competition on the merits of your entry, and don't get let down by avoidable mistakes. The judges aren't allowed to score you based on the quality of your production or your filming. But you don't want your production to be so bad that judges can't see your video or hear you speak. You also don't want to get disqualified just because you missed some important rule. So today, we're going to run through everything you need to know to make sure your entry stands its best chance. At the end of this video, you're going to remember three things. Lighting, sound, background. I'll say it again. Lighting, sound, background. First though, we're going to start with a few of the basic rules of 3MT. First, it's three minutes only. The timer starts when you start speaking, and you're disqualified if you go even a second over time. Second, it's spoken word only. No singing, no dancing, no poems. Third, you can't use props or any other visual aids like costumes. Fourth, only a single slide. No animations, no running video. Some additional rules apply now that you're submitting a video instead of speaking on stage. Your video has to start with a three minute thesis slide up the front. You can download one from griffith.edu.au slash 3MT. Second, your video has to be filmed in landscape orientation. You can't use a vertical style like TikTok. Third, your video has to be shot at head height using a plain background. The camera needs to be flat and still. Fourth, you're being judged on your ability to convey your ideas in a single three minute monologue. That means absolutely no audio edits and no video edits. Those are the basic requirements. You should still check the official rules at griffith.edu.au slash 3MT. Now, what did we say before? Lighting, sound, background. Let's deal with them in order. The key to lighting is to light up your whole face and avoid strong shadows. You also want to use the lighting to separate you from your background. You've probably already got an overhead source of light, like your ceiling lights or an open window. So now, you need light sources from underneath you, called fill lights, to fill in the shadows underneath your cheeks and eyebrows. Find as many light sources as you can, whatever you've got, lamps, the torch on your iPhone, an LED. One great trick is to cover a folded piece of cardboard with alfoil and shine a lamp onto it to create a diffuse light source. If you've got enough lights, you can place one behind you pointing back towards your body. This separates you from the background and creates a nice halo effect. What you're creating is a three-point lighting setup. It has a light above you, that's called a key light, the light below you, that's the fill light, and a light behind you, that's the backlight. With all these lights, you might even feel a bit overlit, but as long as they're not too strong, the effect will be good. Oh, and don't record in direct sunlight. It's way too bright and creates strong shadows on your face. Now, to sound. Try to record in a quiet environment. I'm at home right now. The neighbours like to mow their lawn during the day and their dogs get noisy. So I'm recording early in the morning to minimise the chance I'll be interrupted. Try to avoid room echo. This can be tricky. Carpets and curtains definitely help absorb some of that echo. But what's even better is to borrow a friend's phone and record yourself using the built-in voice recorder. iPhones and Android phones both have them built in. Put the phone in a breast pocket or keep it close by out of shot. This way, you don't have to rely on the microphone in a camera which is eight feet away. If you want to spend a little bit of money, invest in a lapel mic. These cost between 20 and 100 bucks on Amazon. They plug into your phone and make your voice even clearer. If you're going to use a separate microphone, clap three times at the beginning of your recording. Why? Final Cut and Premiere can both automatically synchronize video and audio tracks, but if you're editing your video in a basic editor, you'll need to use those claps in the audio waveform to line up the audio recording with the video. Finally, the background. Stand about four feet away from a plain wall, far enough away that you don't cast a shadow. That's going to be important if you plan to use a green screen effect to replace the wall with your slide. 
Remember to wear solid colours that contrast with your background. This is going to help you stand out and be visible. You can either have your slide sitting to the side the way I've got it here, or you can cut to the slide for up to a minute at a time. We don't recommend cutting to the slide for a whole minute though. After all, the judges really need to see your face and hands to realise what a great communicator you are. So that's it. Lighting, sound, background. Set up a three-point lighting system with a key light, a fill light and a backlight. Record in a quiet place using a microphone if you can and put the right amount of distance between you, the camera and the wall. Don't forget to check out griffiths.edu.au slash 3NT for all the competition rules and instructions on how to upload your entry. Good luck. Mm -hmm.